Welcome back to another video. We're going to compare Fusion 360 with Katia regarding free for modeling. So as you can see over here within Fusion, we have this spline modeling. And this has some of the advantages over nerves because we can split certain areas of the surface and we can only manipulate those. While within nerves, we usually have a mesh, a grid, we can also split this, but it's not that um, intuitive and that easy. As we can see over here, the difference between nerves and T-spline regarding the wireframe of the models. If you're going to check over here what are the main advantages, we're going to see that for Fusion, there are some strengths. And in my opinion, this is the most important, is that the interface is a lot more easier. And um, as we can see, this is one of the main advantage. Also with this plan, we can have good control over the smoothness and continuity of, of the model. And uh, one major advantage is that Fusion 360 um, is available for hobbyists. So that is uh, for free. There are some weakness, as we can see over here, the major, let's say, weakness is that it doesn't have so many tools as Katia. But even Katia in Imagine Shape has, let's say, the following tools that we see over here. Some of them, those um, have multiple options underneath them. But Katia Power mostly stands within Generative Shape Design, which has a lot more um, capabilities than Fusion Survey Design. So usually within Freeform Modeling, you're going to start with an imaginary shape and afterwards you're going to refine the model within generative shape design. If you compare that with, uh, with Fusion, you're going to see over here that, for example, for Freeform, all the features will be nested over here. So we have the creation options, the modify. We can also enable symmetry and we have some utilities. But if you're going to compare the surface modeling, so this will compare to generative shape design, we're going to see that Overall, the amount of, um, let's say, tools and features is quite limited compared to, to Katia. Okay, let's see some um, other elements. Of One of the weakness that we see over here that display modeling, uh, let's say, can be um, a struggle with high intricate uh, details that require extreme precision. We have the possibility to use um, numeric inputs and to specify um, exact values, but it's a little bit trickier to, to work with that. Now, for Katia, we see the strengths over here. Um, we see that in some cases, Katia offers more precision over surface control, but um, we're gonna see within a, some case studies that this is not um, entirely true for uh, all the, let's say, aspects regarding imaginary shape. And as we can see the weakness, this has um, a steeper learning curve. And um, most importantly, we see that this is more expensive. So let's take a look at compare those within a case study. I will define over here a plane. So this will be a rectangle. We see the hotkey in Katia. Alt Shift um, O for this, so quite a long hotkey. And we're gonna have that added over here. The main difference is that within Katia, we are just gonna select that. If we select a starting point, like a, a plane or a point or a line, it will be positioned um, according to that. But uh, other than that, if we need to add in specific uh, numeric values, for example, we can open the edition over here. We're going to see that for the translation, we can start to manipulate on those axes. But if you want to see the values, the length and the width of the plane, we will have to go within the affinity, which is the scaling over here. And we can change the value. We see the X and the Y and the Z value over here. We also have access to those within the edition. So if I want this to, to be, for example, on the X only 50, and on the Y100, we're going to see how that will look like. 
afterwards if i will close we're gonna have now that plane defined according to the specification other than that the face cutting in this case in katia it's not added by default within the creation uh, phase but we can go over here with the face cut we can select the um, element and afterwards we can specify the amount of uh, of cuts over here so we see for example with um, four if i will select that we're going to have that mesh divided in four over here and the same on the smaller axis so we need to add the face cut um, afterwards in comparison if i will go over here with infusion i will create a new form i will create a plane starting from the um, x and y as soon as i start the creation of the plan the possibility to add the values so for example i want 100 for the length i will press tab to go to the width and afterwards if i will click once we're gonna enter the next step and over here again we have the possibility to change the values so in this case this is minus 50 so i can go with positive and this will mainly be uh, the direction over here as we can see the orientation axis in the corner we can also increase the number of faces so we don't have to do that face cutting we can do that directly over here so i added four for length and four for width and we can also embed symmetry over here directly if for example we want that to be on the length we're gonna have the symmetry over here directly embedded so that means if I will go and start to manipulate, for example, this edge, the surface will react um, on the other side as well. If you want to clear the symmetry, we can just go over here, clear symmetry, and uh, we won't have that anymore. We also have the possibility to, to use uh, symmetry over here in Katia, but um, it's a little bit... Um, so this is one of the let's say drawbacks of katia is that in order to have the same uh, setup just like we had with the plane we need to do more steps in order to be within the same um, within the same area and this is more um, let's say uh, a struggle when we are dealing with other primitives i will just hide that plane and i will create a cube over here And this will be the default cube created. Again, we have the possibility onto Affinity to go within the edition, and we can change, um, for example, I want this to be 50 millimeters on all axes, and we're gonna have that cube defined. If I will swap to Fusion, and I will hide that, I will create a box. And um, again, I will add 50 by 50. Afterwards, I will click once. And now we can define the height for this. So it will be 50. And we have the possibility to add more faces over here on all axes. So for length, width, and height. And uh, we're going to have those added directly. And over here, since this is a, a box, a cube, we're going to have the symmetry for all axes also for the height and this is much more convenient the only drawback is that as soon as you close this creation panel over here this will no longer be accessible so once closed you will need to define it again we're gonna see that the box will have uh, those rounded corners we can go and uh, increase those if we want to and within Katia, by default, since the geometry is not splitted, those will not be rounded. If I will select this and I will select everything, we see that we have the attraction over here. So by default, this is set to a weight of 100. If I will go all the way to zero, this will transform into, into a sphere. So we can control that. Um, we see that within the preview, this is not the final mesh. If I will uh, press escape and I want to confirm this, we're going to see how the, uh, the cube will look like now. So we have that radius added, just like with infusion, but we don't have the face subdivision. So that still needs to be done manually. With the face cutting, we need to select. So for example, we need four sections on this direction, on the other one, and afterwards 
on the height. And now since we added those, you're gonna see that the radius has become smaller. So we need to edit this, select everything. And within the attraction, I have the possibility to make this a little bit lower. Press escape and save that. Or we can also have the possibility to change the smooth to sharp over here. So for everything, if I'm gonna swap that, this will be changed. So now those um, radius will be quite small. And if you want those radius to, um, to not be present at all, we can go all the way to a weight of 100%. And we're gonna have the, um, the box looking like this. So over here with Infusion, if I wanna have the same uh, model, I need to crease everything. So I will just select everything. And uh, we see over here 192 vertices, just click once and this will be done. So overall, Fusion is a lot more intuitive. And within the following videos, I will start creating a um, case study video regarding each of those. And afterwards, I will start to design uh, various products. So I hope you enjoy this kind of content. I will position a similar video over here on the left. I will add this um, to the Fusion uh, tips and tricks over here at the top. And I will also add a subscribe button. So that's it. Thanks for watching.